Okay, so now let's write this lambda function that's going to monitor the event raised when the JSON file is loaded into the S3 bucket. And we need to arrange so that it can copy that file and put it into the DynamoDB database. So here I've written a Lambda handler and it's written in Python 3. So basically what this handler is going to do is when it catches the event raised by S3, in the event is the name of the bucket and the name of the file. So we're going to pull those out of the event and we're going to get the object from the bucket and the file name and we're then going to read that into Python and we're going to create a local dictionary with the content in it then we're going to put that content into the DynamoDB table. I've debugged this before, so I'm just going to copy that code. But let's go back now, and we want to create a Lambda function. So let's go to the services, and let's go to Lambda. And we want to create a function. And we can create one from scratch. And so that's what we'll do. The function name, let's call it S3 Lambda Dynamo DB009 to match. And we don't need Node, we need Python. So let's create that function. Okay, so here's that function. And you see we've got this. And what we need to do now is we need to delete that and copy in our own code. So we've got that. Let's save it. Okay. That's saved. Now we want to, the execution role, I want to use an existing one. And we just created the Lambda 09. Okay, so let's save that. Now let's go back up to uh, designer. And you can see now we've got all of these added roles. Okay. So we've set up the Lambda function. Now we need to add a trigger. So we want to add the trigger to the S3 bucket that we're going to use. So it's going to be S3. And I'm going to use the bucket called Tango Bucket. And we are going to raise events for all object creates, but we're going to just raise it for ones with the suffix, suffix dot JSON. So that's when there's a, it's a JSON file. And let's add that. Okay. So now we've got a trigger that when we load to the S3 bucket, this should occur. Let's check DynamoDB and look. let's look at the tables. I've got one called Contacts and it doesn't have any items in it at the moment. Oh, it has one. Okay, so I've already got an item. I, try, I wrote something, but let me uh, write another one. So let me drag in that contact here. We'll make it public. 
and we'll upload it. OK, so now this should trigger the event. OK, so there it is. It's in S3. Let's go back to the Lambda function and we want to OK, Tango Bucket, Object Created. So, that's the event. Let's go now to the Dynamo database. So here, let me refresh that. And now you'll see there's another item in the database. So the Lambda function fired, everything worked and we executed all of this so that's pretty good so that's how serverless works